So these are the female ones and I believe that tomorrow the gonna spawn her eggs. Hi guys, good day to us once again and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. As you will note, I am here at the racks of our betta fish. I am again preparing 10 pairs for our new set of breeders. I have new strains of uh, betta fish. If you will see, this is uh, one of the best betta that I have. This is uh, orange color. And what I am doing right now is I am allowing this pairs to see its other and the moment that this meal will produce bubble nest and that's the right time that we can put them together and maybe a couple of days from now we gotta be able to show you how we actually breed this betta fish and I have so many videos about betta breeding the steps on how to effectively breed your bettas you may also browse that video you will also see the techniques on how to grow the fry of the betta this is the common problem that every breeder is facing that is why we have shared to you our experiences on betta breeding but today I'm going to share with you how do I breed my shubunkin. You know this shubunkin is a hardy fish. It's not difficult to care for this fish because it will survive in whatever temperature that they are in. According to the Wikipedia, well shubunkin will live in the pond for 30 years. Shubunkin is a product of crossbreeding. Telescopic fish, we have the comet and the common goldfish and this is now the result the shubon king so we are gonna proceed to the pet store at the back of our pet store we have a small lot there where we can have our breeding and I am going to demonstrate to you how to breed how to prepare the breeding tank and what are the steps and the necessary materials needed to effectively breed this kind of fish so come on let's go to the pet store we will prepare the breeding tank and then I hope we can show you tomorrow the actual breeding of this shubham kid fish come on So we are here now at our Koi and Pet Shop. So yes, we are here now at our breeding tank. I prepared this water three days ago. So this water is already soft and it has no chlorine. That's why it's already best for our breeding. So what we gotta do is we will put our corn work this place. It's very important if you are breeding. This will induce our breeders to lay their eggs. Okay? That's it. This is very vital if you are breeding all types of spawners. Goldfish, carp, you have shubunkin, and even comet. Yes. And so the next step, we will place the air pump. Okay. Place this air pump to provide oxygen for our breeder fish. I think we are set to place our breeders inside in this breeding tank. Come on, let's get our breeders. We will choose the pregnant ones. These are our breeders. I've chosen them 
because they are the best fish that I think can lay eggs to them. So this is the common tongue and there are other pregnant fish but they're not due for breeding yet so I have chosen only two female and four males. And then many have asked, how would you know if your shubankin is a male or a female? Well, it's just like choosing the male and female koi. You can determine through their body form. And if you will see here, this two that has bulging tummies are the female ones. Okay? So these are the female ones and I believe that tomorrow the gonna spawn her eggs. So we will place the first female right here. This one and the second one. Okay. And then we will now place the male shubankins over here. Go. Oops. That just like that. That's it. We will expect that tomorrow morning this breeder Shubankins will spawn their eggs. And I hope that you can follow. I've been breeding this Shubankins fish for the past 10 years and it gives me good results in this system. After they will spawn their eggs, you will wait for five days and you will see the fingerlings. In our future videos, I'd like to teach you how to culture brain shrimps. It's an alternative food for dapnya. If you don't have dapnya, we can culture brain shrimps and that's our first feeding for fry. Okay. So look at them, they are there and tomorrow we'll wait for maybe 20 hours from now, we will see if they will breed. So guys, this is the day number two of our breeding of this. Shubankin Comet. As you can see at my back, they are on the process of spawning their eggs. You will note that the male will chase the female and the female will be induced to spawn her eggs on the plants because this plant is the inducer. If we don't have plants, it's really very impossible for us to breed. Others are also using artificial like nylons like cottons pebbles but the most effective in breeding this fish is this hydrilla kabomba or any other light plants like this hornwort so our purpose of showing this is to encourage others to breed because some people really wanted to breed but they don't know the process and we are showing to you now the process if you will examine closely these plants have already a lot of eggs being spawned by this spawner shubham can come so after three days you will note that there are wigglers or shubham can fries that can be seen on these plants and even on the edge of these aquariums, at the side of these aquariums. It is expected that these two female shubankin will have more than thousands of fry after three to five days. Well, it depends upon the temperature. But in this case, since this is exposed to sunlight, I am sure that after five days, we're gonna have plenty of shubankin fries. And many have asked, What's the time, correct time, to breed your goldfish or even the shubankin? Well, we have to prepare a water that has been stuck for three to four days. You cannot directly get from the hose or the faucet and put your shubankin because it has chlorine. It has hard metal objects. So it is really not 
advisable if we will just get the water and then put the breeder. What we do is to stop the water for three to five days. After you have already hatched, small price will be seen. You will transfer that to a bigger container if they are already freely swimming and you will start feeding dapnya or even brine shrimps. This is all that we can share with you guys. I hope that you will continue to follow us, continue to like and share our videos and please don't forget to hit that notification bell for you to be notified of our exciting videos. In the future, we will show you how to breed small fishes like neon tetra, zebra, danios, and all other tropical fish. So thank you for watching, only here at Dexter's World. <music>